Hi everyone, this is Faro. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Welcome to February. Every single day in February, I've been posting daily handbag videos, weekly on handbag unboxings. I'm going to end it off with my entire designer luxury handbag collection. So excited for that video and we're almost there. We're more than halfway through. We're getting to the home stretch. I really hope you guys have subscribed and are following along because I just think this has been such an exciting series to do and been a challenge but a fun challenge for me to do. Um, so if you haven't already, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you for the rest of the videos this month, but also for my future videos because I make videos on luxury, fashion, lifestyle, and handbags, definitely. So if you love that kind of content, you're gonna love it here. So I would love to kind of have you along for all my videos in the future. But today's video, as you can see from the title, is what are my thoughts about buying another Chanel bag? Would I buy another Chanel bag? Do I need another Chanel bag? Do I want another Chanel bag? Um, I just feel like Chanel is just such a classic house of fashion um, just for its history, for kind of all the ready to wear, the bags, you know, shoes, jewelry. It's kind of a really classic house. And so I feel like the Chanel bag, having a Chanel bag is just kind of like a milestone for somebody who's like a luxury handbag collector. Now, I do have a Chanel bag. I've shown it before, but I'm gonna give you guys a little eye candy today and show you again here. This is the only Chanel bag that I have in my collection. This is my beautiful Chanel iridescent chic quilt bag in this gorgeous blue color. I absolutely adore this color. I love the gold hardware. You know, it's got all the classic elements of Chanel bags that turn lock -like closure here. The beautiful hardware, the kind of gold hardware you can see. And then it has the gorgeous quilting, which is just so soft and supple. The gorgeous chain detail here with the leather that kind of goes within it. I love it. And this is a flat bag, but it's a single flap. So when it opens up, it has this beautiful, I think it's a fabric interior with a slip pocket that zips up. So kind of a zipper pocket, I would say. And super spacious, very roomy. The straps here can be worn on the shoulder, um, but then you can also kind of take it, pull it out and wear it um, longer on the shoulder or like a short crossbody. And I've even shown you guys in previous videos how you could attach, because they've got little loops here, how you can attach a long strap um, and make it like a really, really long crossbody. So I absolutely love this bag. The moment I saw this bag, I fell in love with it. Um, but now here's my question. Do I need more? Do I want more? <laughs> um, here are my thoughts. So this, as you can see, it's technically a Chanel flat bag. Um, and I feel like it has a lot of those classic elements, but it's not your most classic Chanel, you know, classic flap um, with the double flap. And so I feel like when I look at you know, other videos or just on social media, I always see almost it seems like everybody has the very classic Chanel bag. Um, usually it's like the medium size, small, medium, jumbo size. You know, I mean, I think it varies before the jumbo size was really popular. Now it's more smaller bags are kind of, you know, what we've tended towards. So more the small or the medium size, um, and even like the mini versions of it, which are a little bit different style, but kind of a similar look. Um, and usually seems like people get it in black with lambskin or black with caviar, gold or silver hardware. I feel like to me the most classic is the lambskin with gold hardware. Um, but I think if I were to ever pick, I would probably get caviar um, with gold hardware. I love everything in gold hardware, but just for durability purposes, I feel like the caviar probably is a little bit more durable. Um, but again, I don't own those bags, so I can't say for sure. But those bags have just become so popular um, and it as expensive as they are, they seem like they're just saturating um, people's collections. So it's always a thought of, should I get one? Do I want one? Is my collection incomplete without it? Um, to be honest, I love this bag. Like I wanted a Chanel bag just because obviously I love luxury fashion with handbags. And so having a Chanel was just 
a really fun way to experience a brand, um, but I wanted something a little bit more unique. And so this one, when I saw this and I saw the color, I saw the design elements, I loved it and I'm so happy with it. I really personally don't feel like I need to have any of the other Chanel's. And to be honest, none of us need any luxury handbags, let's be real. None of us need to have a Chanel in our collection at all um, because they're so expensive. I mean, now if you go in store and buy new and even on the pre-love market, to buy a classic flap, you're talking anywhere from 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 plus. I mean, it's crazy. To me, I thought it was quite expensive to even honestly go above like 3,000. Like to me, that's that's crazy prices for a bag. Um, but of course, that's kind of where we are now. And we hopefully if you're buying that bag, you can afford it, you've saved up. Um, it's something that is going to be something that you cherish. And so when we buy it, I feel like it really should be something that it's what we want and hopefully we will use. I'm somebody who used my handbags. I know a lot of people do sometimes buy handbags um, who are collectors who just kind of have them more for display um, as part of a collection and maybe are not planning to use them more just for the enjoyment of having them and that's completely okay. But for me, if I have bags, I intend to use them and I wanna feel comfortable to use them. I've heard from a lot of people, from a lot of other videos I've watched that sometimes the Chanel bags, especially the classic bags, aren't the easiest to wear, the double flap especially, just because it's not as roomy, for example, as my bag is. That second flap takes up a lot of space. Um, it's also a little bit more structured than mine is. I mean, mine is pretty, as you can see, smushy um, and a lot of room on the interior, but with the classic flap, it's more structured. Um, you probably have to worry a little bit more about what you fit in because you don't want to be stretching things out. And the leather, especially if you get lambskin, um, you have to be careful that you don't form scratches and things on it. With the cost of how much it is, um, I think you you can't help but be more careful about it. Now, a lot of people may just wear their bag out casually, but I think majority of people who own it do end up baby that bag. And it makes sense. It's definitely something you spent a lot of your hard-earned money on. Um, and it's usually probably like a special pinnacle item in your collection. So I can see why that's the case. But when I think about, you know, do I need a classic flap in my collection? Um, I would love to have one if it was in a really, really affordable price range. Um, but at the current price range, I don't see myself ever getting one, not in the near future. I do think they're gorgeous bags. I think they are so beautiful and they really truly are kind of like a work of art, um, a work of wearable art, which is even better. But I think for me right now, when I have this bag, I feel quite happy with it. Um, and I don't want to be on this constant hunt for another bag or a classic flap bag. Um, I know so many people have many different colors and shapes and sizes. And again, gorgeous, but Personally, I'm actually quite content with this, which is surprising because there's a lot of times I am unfortunately, you know, so, hate to say it, influenced by what I'm seeing. But I think because I'm seeing the Chanel bag just so oversaturated, um, as gorgeous as I think it is, at the price point it is now, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. And you guys know I'm somebody who is completely okay shopping pre-loved, um, trying to find like a good bargain or a good deal. Um, I think it's kind of fun, that hunt, but I think the Chanel Classic Flop is almost impossible to do that. You can get something maybe similar to what I did, a variation of it, um, and that you can kind of have still a little bit of the feel of it, but I don't think the Classic Flop is something that um, is gonna be, at least in the near future, something I get. Um, there are vintage styles that maybe are a little bit more affordable, but, Still, it's still quite expensive. Now, other Chanel bags, the only other one that really catches my eye, again, because I've seen it all over social media, is a Chanel 19. I do think that's a really gorgeous bag too, but somehow there is sometimes I look at it and I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. I love all the detailing. It looks like it's a very functional, easy to wear bag, casual, dressy, you can kind of go both ways. But then I also other times look at it and I think it's just too much, like too much is going on, too much hardware, too much big with the CC logo in the front. The quilts are big, like everything is like really big on that one. And um, I, it's different. It's obviously very, very different, but I'm not sure. I. 
I don't feel like it's one where I'm like, oh, I'm going to, if I have that bag, I'm going to love it. I'm just going to love it for the long term. I can't say that. The classic flap I can say is so classic. It's going to be around forever that I'm always going to love it. The thing is, would I actually wear it, um, especially with the constraints of the what you can fit inside, the where you know the um, how it wears, and then also just how precious I might be with it because of the cost. Um, the other really popular bags that's kind of been seen more recently, and they've been out for a while, but I feel like we see them now more saturating the Chanel market um, of collection of bags that people have is like the Chanel uh, trendy CC bag, um, the Coco handle, both again gorgeous bags. Um, I think for me. The trendy bag, I don't know, something about it, it's, when I look at it, it's just a little too square, a little too block, like, um, I know some people say it looks like a, you know, grandma bag, I mean, you're a really chic grandma if you had that, so I don't think it's anything, like, bad about how the bag looks, I just think something about it just seems always a little, like, misproportion to me um it's really cool but i don't know i don't know if like it's because of the different separations and i just think you know how am i going to put my things in there um I, I don't know i don't know it's just not one that i gravitate towards so much um the coca handle on the other hand i think is really cute i really do like how kind of lady like it is um the trendy cc i guess why they maybe call it trendy cc it is like the trendy version of the coco handle um both those bags are also really popular i've thought about them considered them but again they don't like spark joy in me um i think they're beautiful to look at but if I had to pick between those top four popular Chanel bags, the Classic Flap, the Chanel 19, the Trendy CC, and the Coco Handle, I think I would still go with the Classic Flap. But again, I don't feel like I need it. Um, so those are my thoughts. I kind of want to hear what you guys think. You know, if you do have the Classic Flap, do you think that still this day and time with the prices and with how much you've been wearing it that it's worth it and it's something that i really should consider um, to kind of really fulfill my collection and i would get use out of it and feel comfortable to wear it even at a higher price or if you don't have the bag or you sold the bag or you don't plan to get the bag or even if you have the bag if you're just like, no, it's not, I would love to kind of hear that. I think hopefully we can start a conversation down in the comments below. Um, I would love to hear what you guys think. I think this is one of the fun things of being a part of this YouTube handbag community is we can kind of discuss with each other our thoughts and it's fun to kind of share, you know, what everybody thinks. This video hopefully is not, you know, offending anybody who has Chanel bags or a huge collection of Chanel bags. I completely watch those videos. Love to see them. Love all that eye candy. It's all beautiful, gorgeous, and just, you know, there's a whole range of different variations of the bags and colors. So definitely not saying anything negative about it, but, you know, thinking about myself and definitely when I think about the price, you know, it makes me hesitate. I'm not sure if I personally necessarily need one, but would love to again hear your thoughts. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Continue to join me for the rest of February. Again, daily handbag videos, weekly unboxings, and then at the very end, my entire handbag collection. We're almost there, guys. Home stretch. Can't wait to see you in my next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.